Virgos, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for April 25th through the 30th. Um, this is your last reading for the month. Keep in mind this is a general reading. The roles may be reversed and the messages may or may not resonate. If you want something more tailored to your own specific situation, that link is in the description box below. That will take you to my website where you can book your own personal reading. So Virgos, let's see what you guys have been up to. So we have the Knight of Rods, Ten of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, Two of Pentacles, the Tower, Page of Rods in reverse, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, so... You're being depicted, depic, depicted, sorry, having third chakra issues today. Um, this is the Nine of Rods, which is, I feel, what you're being depicted as this week. Um, really energetic, fiery, having that passion within you. So I kind of feel the vibe that you're kind of taking on a fire signs energy. Some of you are dealing with two people. One of these people, there was a sudden unexpected breakup with, while the other, you're coming out of some type of ending and burdens with, because I feel like there may even be a child involved in the situation because pages usually signify children. Um, something is or was making you feel burdened and you're having a hard time letting go of whatever this weight is. But at the same time, I kind of get the vibe that you are starting to let go of that weight, um, that stress that you were going through. And at the same time, choosing not to commit to something. Whatever this is that you're choosing not to commit to, it could be new love. And if you do have the possibility of new love with someone, this is just showing me that it's not going to lead to anything that leads to, to commitment. It's just going to be sex or casual. It's not going to lead to anything long term. Um, some of you are choosing just to change your belief systems, um, kind of come out of the ideologies that you guys have been taught as far as like the things that your parents teach you, traditions. Um, some of you are really working on changing your mindset. Because at the same time, you're juggling something, whether this is two people, two situations, um, work, love life, you're juggling something that has you feeling a bit imbalanced. Could be drinking a little too much for some of you, but for others, you're just trying to find that happiness within yourself, but you're feeling imbalanced, so it's, at the same time, it's affecting your happiness. Um, you are looking at things from a wish fulfillment standpoint, so I feel like new love would be something that would make you happy, but at the same time, the offer that's being given to you may not be fruitful or give you the commitment that you're seeking. Whatever this sudden breakup is that happened, it basically um, came in so that you can create new foundations, more sturdy, stable foundations, because whatever this is that it destroyed, it wasn't built on anything firm, which is why the tower comes in, because Usually the tower destroys anything that's like selfish related or any, basically any scenarios that don't have that full potential. The tower comes in to break things down, to give you an opportunity to build them back up on stable ground or go, go towards something brand new that will give you, you know, that stability that we all seek. As far as the page of rods in reverse, you could be choosing not to move on from something, choosing not to go towards a new direction, maybe even stuck on something that you're not able to let go of. Let's get another deck so we can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. The Knight of Rods, Ten of Wands. So you're still feeling burdened. That's why I said that when I first saw this. Um, despite the fact that you're coming out of it, that burden and that stress and that extra weight is still very prominent. So the fact that this card came out just came to justify that. Despite the fact that you want to move on towards something passionate, despite the fact that you're ready to move, you know, do something that involves passion, drive, um, fire, you're still being held down by some type of weight. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Because of the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, you're looking for something new, whether this is a new relationship, new house, new home, new car, something new, materialistic that you can taste, touch, see, and you want to come out of burdens so that you can go towards whatever this is that you're seeking. 
But at the same time, there is deception surrounding you, whether this is deceptive energy, deceptive thoughts. You may be deceiving someone or someone is deceiving you. If there is this opportunity of new love, like I said earlier, there's no commitment with it. This person might be playing mind games with you, might be playing just deceptive energy, like things aren't the way that they seem. So don't put too much thought and energy into that. Only give people um, the same amount of like time and efforts that they give you. That way you can avoid being let on and having your heart broken. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Because of the Knight of Swords. Um, some of you are dealing with two people once again, and you're juggling the person that is impulsive, um, rushes in, tends to make actions before they even think things through. Um, so you have either the possibility of an option between an air sign and a fire sign. One of these options, I feel, would make you happy, which is the air sign. The person that is impulsive and rushing in, I feel like this person has the more likelihood of making you happy just because the happiness card is underneath it. This Knight of Rods can't be trusted. You see how there's this salamander on their arm? This tells me that this person is flirty, womanizer, manizer, if that's even a word. Just someone that can't be trusted. And you can expect like sudden upheavals and breakups when it comes to this person. Why is the tower here? Because of the Knight of Wands in reverse. Exactly. This person can't be trusted. When, you, when I see the Knight of Rods twice and the second one is flipped upside down, it really tells me that whoever this person is, they're in their low vibrational energy. Um, flirty, womanizer, just wants to sleep around. More about passion and spark than actual commitment. Why is the Page of Rods in reverse? For some of you, if there is children involved, the children um, that are involved in this breakup that happened are the ones that are feeling the weight, are the things that are keeping you burdened, keeping you tied to the situation. You're feeling some type of conflict or competition. Whatever this is, it's outside conflict. Um, there could be competition, like I said, because I did see two people here for some of you. Others are just dealing with outside influences that are trying to just you know, get you riled up inside ancestrally. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Because of the Page of Swords. You could be watching someone, keeping an eye on someone. Whoever this person is, you feel like you could be abundant with them in terms of love. And you may be considering rearranging things or try not to invest on whoever this person is. From what I see for some of you, this is someone from your past that you have a lot of love emotions and nurturing energy for you could still be keeping tabs on this person but at the same time you're not investing anything um on them so i'm not sure why you're you're kind of like keeping tabs and spying but at the same time if some of you have new love i would be careful because there is deceptive energy surrounding it and there's no commitment because the hierophant card is in reverse so be careful with that make sure no one tries to lead you on or play with you play mind games why is the nine of cups here because of the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you want to get to a point where you feel grounded within yourself, nurturing, where you feel like you can take care of all the bills, where um, you feel like you have someone that you can build something with. Like That's probably what it is that you want. You want someone that you can have a strong, firm foundation with, that is nurturing, can take care of the home, um, just a provider overall, as to, like basically a provider who is loving, takes care of the bills, nurturing, and you can have children and long-term stability with. But at the same time, something is destined to happen. Whatever it is that is going on, it was meant to be. So that's the end of your reading. Bye.